On a crisp January day in the small town of Lively, two boys do what most boys do in northern Ontario in the winter, play hockey. But this is no ordinary boy, and this is no ordinary day. What's, who's this? Me and my dad. That's you? Uh-huh. That little guy there? Yeah. Six-year-old Jordan Primo might just be the biggest Toronto Maple Leafs fan in town. Who's your favorite player? Gretchen B. <laughs> Why do you like him? You know, he's the captain, you know. There's something else you should know about Jordan. I can't sure. Since he was 18 months old, he's been battling leukemia. What was the worst part? Needles. Needles? You didn't like those needles? He beat it once, then it came back two years ago. Doctor said, how fast can you get to the hospital? Severely damaging his optic nerve and stealing most of his vision. He sees shapes and figures now, but nothing else. He asked me to stop crying. Mommy, stop crying. I'm going to be okay. We only met Jordan two hours ago. He still doesn't know why we're really here. We came to his school, pretending we were looking for the biggest Leafs fan in his class, to interview on TSN. Mo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick Jordan. Way to go. All right. Would that be okay? Yeah. What's going on? What's happening? You won. What you mean? On TSN. Oh my gosh. What Jordan didn't know is that he was already the one we wanted because of this. That's one of my wishes to meet the tournament, please. With the help of the Children's Wish Foundation and the Leafs, Jordan's wish is about to become reality. We sit the family down in front of their TV. Welcome back to the TSN Newsroom. I'm Rod Smith with this special Sports Centre update. We are going to go live to the Air Canada Centre in Toronto, where Maple Leaf head coach Paul Maurice has this important announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming today. We've made an acquisition of a young man that we think will add a tremendous amount of character, determination, grit to our group. He's uh, from Lively, Ontario, a uh, good northern boy. Uh, Jordan Primo is his name. I'm sure you've heard about him. Oh, you'll never forget it. It's going to mean a lot to him. Are you happy? <laughs> What's it going to be like when you actually get to meet the Toronto Maple Leafs next week? Crazy. The wish would happen exactly two years to the day Jordan's leukemia came back. It's almost meant to be, I think, for him. He deserves something else special on that day instead of the day that he has cancer. One week later, Jordan's wish day has arrived. He gets a tour of the Air Canada Centre with his parents and his little brother, Zach. And then, guess who shows up? His hero. Where's Jordan? How you doing, buddy? Jordan is not the jump up and down and scream type. He gets quiet when he's overwhelmed. And meeting your hero is kind of overwhelming. But this is only the beginning. Jordan gets a personal tour of the Leafs dressing room from Alex Steen. You want to try him on? Try him on. And a surprise hello from a visiting player, Alexander Ovechkin. Ask him how many goals he has. How many goals? Three, seven. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. <laughs> it's hard to keep track. Eight. Yeah, 38 goals. So, this is my present for you. Stick. My gamer stick. He greets the Leafs as they step on the ice for practice. What's up, fellas? What's going on? Oh, Hi, how are you? No! What's happening, big man? And watches every drill like a scout. Woo! Jordan and his family believe the day is ending. Awesome! <laughs> but then, as practice winds down, Matt Stajan calls him over. What do you think? Talk him on the ice for a bit? Time for skate? And skating! You want skating? There is one other player Jordan really wants to meet, Jason Blake, who suffers from a different form of leukemia. You want to shoot a puck? Okay, here. You can shoot a puck. I'll hold your hand. Here, right? He gets to do much okay. more than just meet Jason. I could use you on my line. You'll pass it on the team. No! Get down! <laughs> here you go, bud. Hi, Thanks, buddy. The newest, littlest leaf will leave with memories that will last a lifetime. It's just fantastic. To watch him, he's, he's been smiling all day. It's been great, eh, Jordan? One unforgettable day for one unforgettable boy.